The Secret Service insists there are no plans for major security changes for this week's Republican National Convention in Milwaukee. President Joe Biden called for a full review of those security plans. Law enforcement officers here in Georgia say there is no doubt that shooting brings unexpected wrinkles in the plans in some way. 11 Live's Jerry Carnes is live in Midtown with more Jerry. The law enforcement community has very strong reactions this morning. They do indeed, Cheryl. Good morning. Former President Donald Trump considered delaying his trip to Milwaukee, but ultimately decided that he was not going to let a Saturday's attempt on his life alter his plans. Now he is in a place where safety and security have been placed in a new light. For nearly two years, law enforcement officers have planned and prepared for the nation's focus to turn to Milwaukee. The city's police chief insists Saturday's attempt on the life of Donald Trump in Ohio doesn't alter his confidence in a safe gathering in his city. As the chief executive of our police department here, it's important that we are also understand the concern in our city. The mood has shifted. Former DeKalb Police Commissioner Dr. Cedric Alexander says officers in Milwaukee are under added pressure. Hopefully we can learn some things from it in terms of uh, furthering uh, our security protocols to make sure that this does not ever happen again. Wisconsin is an open carry state. Milwaukee's police chief says he is unable to restrict gun possession around the city during the convention. Online threats of violence have been on the upswing since Saturday's assassination attempt. Alexander says America has to find a way to turn the temperature down. This is a very difficult time in this country, but only us as Americans uh, can pull this back together. And I think we all need to take a pause and a deep breath and decide as a nation that this cannot be tolerated. The FBI's special agent in charge in Milwaukee says there have been no specific threats of violence, but they have seen online chatter. Live in Midtown, Jerry Carnes, 11 Alive News. I know they'll keep a keen eye on that chatter. Jerry, thank you. The Republican National Convention, where former President Donald Trump is expected to officially become the party's 2024 presidential nominee, starts less than 48 hours after a gunman attempted to assassinate him. NBC's Bree Jackson joins us now live with a preview of the event. Bree, good morning. Good morning. So security is obviously a top concern here at the Republican National Convention. We do know that the Secret Service has been working on this event for about 18 months, and they say they did not feel a need to change any of the security measures that they've had in place. Emotions are high here in Milwaukee. After that assassination attempt on former President Trump, people I spoke with say they are motivated after that event. His supporters say they are motivated to come out and show their support for him. The message from Donald Trump is that this convention should be business as usual. He did arrive here in Milwaukee late last night, and during an interview with the Washington exam Examiner, the former president said that he plans to rewrite his speech and wants to use his speech on Thursday uh, as a way to bring the country together. The convention will gavel in this afternoon, and we do expect a roll call vote later today, uh, and that is when Donald Trump will formally be nominated. Something else that we're keeping an eye out on is an announcement about his running mate. Former President Trump has yet to name his running mate, so that could happen as soon as today. It is expected to happen sometime at this convention. Multiple sources also tell NBC News that other people uh, who are set to speak during this convention, they've been asked uh, to stick to their original scripts, and uh, some have maybe considered uh, implementing uh, the assassination attempt into their speech. They've been asked to stick to their original topics uh, when they come here on stage, but the four days of events kicks off today and really culminates with that nomination, uh, Trump officially accepting that nomination on Thursday. All right, Bree, thank you. And make sure you stay with NBC News for special coverage of the Republican National Convention starting tonight at 930.